in diabetes, there's too much sugar in the blood. And up until now, people with diabetes have said, well, too much sugar in my blood, don't eat sugar. Well, we reasoned that in countries like China, Japan, Thailand, Cambodia, where it's a very high carbohydrate diet, but a very low fat diet, given that they have the lowest diabetes rates in the world, we thought it's not carbohydrate. The problem has to do with fat. Those fats get into the cells that causes that insulin resistance, so the diet should be getting the fat out of the cells so insulin can work again. Type 2 diabetes used to be called adult onset. The problem is that the insulin, which is this hormone that acts like a key to let the sugar out of the blood into the muscle cells, where, where it can power your, your movements, that insulin key isn't working very well. Starting in 2003, the U.S. government funded my team to test a totally vegan diet. I, I'm talking about no animal products at all, but it wasn't a low-carb diet at all. People could eat rice and pasta all they wanted, and it worked dramatically well, better than a, a more conventional diabetes diet. People lost weight, their blood sugars came down, their cholesterols fell, and oddly enough, they found it easier to follow this kind of diet because we didn't make them count calories. They could eat as much as they wanted. Type 1 diabetes used to be called childhood onset. The cells that make insulin are dead. And so if a person already has type 1 diabetes, if you put them on a, a healthy vegan diet, that will reduce the likelihood of complications. There are researchers who now believe that one of the big triggers for type 1 diabetes is dairy products. It turns out that proteins in cow's milk, the body recognizes them as foreign proteins. The body makes antibodies to destroy them. Those same antibodies then destroy the insulin producing cells in the pancreas. And there's a major study right now that's nailing down whether if kids are breastfed and they are not given a cow's milk protein at all during infancy, that we might be able to reduce the risk of type 1 diabetes. The evidence so far says that's exactly right.